The information discussed in this video is solely for educational purposes. I am not liable for any damage that may be caused by using the information discussed. Hi, I'm Liz Ronsky and I will be discussing the process of steganography. Um, this presentation is intended for the computer security course ICS 382 with Professor Faisal Kaleem. Um, my presentation will include the definition of steganography, the evolution of steganography, how the process works, how it can be used by cyber criminals, how to detect encrypted files and protect your devices. And at the end, I will do a short demonstration. Okay, so what is steganography? Um, it originates from the Greek word steganos, which means covered, and graphy, meaning writing. Um, it's a process in which secret or sensitive information is hidden within an ordinary object, uh, where the, in, the hidden information is concealed from the observer. Often confused with cryptography, um, which protects the content of a message by scrambling it so the information cannot be understood. Steganography is used to conceal that a secret message is being sent at all. Um, by the use of concealing, the message avoids arousing suspicion because the hidden content goes unnoticed. Okay, the evolution of steganography. Um, embedding secret content is not a new concept. It has been used in different forms for over 2,500 years. Um, physical steganography include, er, such as human skin and game were used to deliver messages. Um, some examples, in 440 BC, a Roman general shaved the head of a messenger and tattooed a message on his scalp and then sent him to deliver it once the hair grew back. Um, once that person was received, then they would shave his head to reveal the message. Um, prisoners of war have used Morse code through repeated eye blinking to alert their commanders or government officials of their capture's intent. Um, this happened during the Vietnam War when a prisoner spelled out torture with eye blinking, uh, confirming that the North Vietnamese were torturing the American prisoners. Um, ordinary objects uh, were used to conceal the hidden messages. Some examples of the objects Ancient Greece, messages were carved into the wooden backing of a wax tablet, where the wax would be poured over the message to conceal it. Once received, the wax was melted, revealing the message in the wood. During World War II, information was concealed by the use of microdots or microfilm chips. These dots were the size of a period on a standard typewriter, which could contain pages of information or drawings. Invisible ink, which remains invisible until the ink is developed, was also used during the war. The message could be disguised on a piece of paper containing other non-sensitive information. Digital steganography is the most common technique today, which uses image, audio, and wave files as a cover for a hidden message. Um, some common techniques for concealment include least significant bit insertion, where the least significant bits of the host file are replaced with data. Masking and filtering, which hides the information by marking the cover image, similar to paper watermarks. Um, the message has to be in a significant area of the cover image so that the message becomes a part of it. Um, algorithms, such as patchwork algorithms, use redundant pattern coding to hide information throughout the cover image. Okay. So the process of steganography, of modern steganography, um, includes these five steps. Um, the first step, you must select the file containing the sensitive information. Um, that can be a text file or image file or audio file. Um, then you add a cover to that file. The cover can also be a text or image, audio. Um, and then third, by using a steganography tool, the cover file is encrypted with the file containing the sensitive information, and a password is applied to the file so that it can only be opened by someone who knows the password. 
After applying the steganography tool, a new file is produced, which is almost identical to the original one, but this one contains the sensitive information. The file can then be sent to someone else who can extract the, the information. To extract the information, the person must also have a steganography tool along with a password associated with the file. Once the password is applied, the sensitive information is revealed. Okay, how steganography can be used. There are a few legitimate uses for it. Um, protection of property, for example, in the healthcare industry, um, an emerging technique is to hide data and DNA sequences to protect intellectual property in medicine and biotechnology fields. Providing proof of ownership, um, watermarking can potentially be used in courts to protect confidential information from copyright theft. A steganographic file system is a file system that would make files invisible to anyone who is unaware of the file's existence, even if the individual had full access to the hardware and software of the device. Um, Illegal uses, which are more common, include evading censorship. Um, it has been speculated that steganography is used to share illegal illicit content. Um, data smuggling. Important data can be smuggled and used to facilitate such things as insider trading um, by hiding the trading information within an inconspicuous image. Um, initiating malware. Cyber criminals have used steganography to send commands to malware that is running on a victim's computer. The attacker can send instructions remotely without being discovered or leaving a trail. Um, social media has been used to send information through hashtags. Um, an attacker can send a tweet containing a hashtag which malware can scan and interpret the hidden information. Um, digital dead drops. Uh, Data, such as credit card information, has been stolen and the card numbers were then hidden on a compromised website. Uh, there was one incident where an attacker replaced the bullets on a page with similar images, but the images actually contained stolen credit card numbers. And then these numbers could be used by his associates. Okay. Detection and protection. Um, Detection is nearly impossible, uh, but attacks can be discovered to, through the use of steg analysis. Um, some techniques are steganography signatures, uh, which where filters can be used to capture TCP IP packets that may contain information, hidden information in the packet headers. Uh, visual detection. Hidden information can be detected by observing repetitive patterns within an image. By comparing the original image with one containing the hidden image, the patterns and slight distortions may become more obvious. The detection requires you to have the original cover image, however, so detection is not always this simple. Um, there are various detection tools. These are just a few of them I put on here. Um, in case by guidance software, it allows law enforcement and IT professionals to conduct non-invasive computer forensics. Um, iLook Investigator is a forensic analysis tool for investigations of forensic images. MD5SUM is a program that compares the M MD5 hash values of two files. Um, these techniques for detection have been known to work, but they're also exhaustive, seeing that one would need to compare a vast amount of information or a vast amount of files in order to find one that is correct. Um, protection. Being on the defense is the best method to avoid an attack using steganography. A few techniques include limiting network access, monitor who is interacting with the network, Restrict file adjustment or sanitize data before it leaves the network. Stay vigilant about personal security and protect accounts with two-factor authentication. Okay, I will do a demonstration for you now. 
Um, there are many kinds of steganography tools uh, that are free, and you can just find them you know, on Google. Um, some are S-Tools, Quick Stego, Steg Hide. Um, I'll be using a very basic tool called Open Stego, which is also a free software. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And the files we're going to use. Um, I'm going to use this bald eagle as the cover. And then my secret message, which I'll hide like this. And it's just the... Um, it's the Constitution. I just threw it in there. Or, I'm sorry, the Declaration of Independence. Okay. So, close that. so first we're going to hide data. So the message file, we will um, select the secret message. So I'm just going to go through my files. And hide it. Secret message text file. Okay. We'll put that bald eagle cover file as this bald eagle. Okay. And then our output stego file, this is where we will send it to. And I'm just going to send it to the folder that my project is in. Okay. Name it hidden message. Um, and then there's an encryption algorithm. There are three to choose from. I haven't tried other ones. I've just done this one. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is, but I'll do this anyways. So um, password. I'm just doing all lowercase password. This takes a little bit. So I'm going to keep. So let's go into the project demo. We can see that the folder is empty. And this is where our hidden file should show up. So it needs to load. Message embedded, success, and then here it shows up. So this contains the text file. Um, and I can't, you know, obviously see it or open it. It looks just like the other image, the original one I have right here. Okay. So now we can extract it. So we click our extract data tool. We're going to select the hidden message file, and we're going to put it into that same file, the output, what is hidden in there. Okay, and then we'll just apply the password. Successful, good. <laughs> and here's the secret message, which I'm going to open up, and you can see that it is the super secret message that I hid. Okay. That is it for my demonstration. Um, these are my sources if you want to read up more.
more on steganography. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching.